if you're a uh, if you run a fitness business of some sort, I think you're gonna really like this story. I go to the local gym, and uh, there's this guy Chris who goes there as well, and so we both go about the same kind of time of day every day, and you know I like talking, he likes talking, we get to talking, and I find out he's a gym instructor and he's a personal trainer, and he also what he really likes doing is he runs a martial arts academy. And he's been, he's really into martial arts, has been since he was like 11 or something. Um, runs this academy, he's really, really good at it. You know, people who come, they stick around for a long time. They're like, customers will stay for years. And uh, I mean, it's probably something you can relate to. It's probably like, you know, you, you're used to, you, you put a lot of passion into building up your skills and you, you get people involved and they stick around because they love it. Um, and because I work in fitness marketing, um, my natural next question was, well, how do you get new clients in? Always curious to see what people are doing. And um, he, he gets some from word of mouth, of course, you know, everybody does, but it's not something you can really scale. He wants to get more people in, so he can't really build on that. That's just, you do a good job, you get some word of mouth, that's great. Um, so I asked, well, you know, what else do you do? And he says he has done a lot of work with schools and he would go into these schools and he would deliver these free taster sessions for them. And um, people would, some of, the, some of the kids would love it and they'd tell the parents and they would join up and become members of his academy. And it, most of his, like his, his academy is mostly kids, like kind of age six to 11, six to 13, that kind of thing. And so that was good. And so I said, oh, that's great. How do you get into the schools? And he said, ah, well, that's the kicker. It used to be fine. But um, nowadays it's really, really hard. It's almost impossible now. So what had happened, I don't know if you know, but back in about 2012 when the Conservatives got in with the, with the Lib Dems, they, um, they got rid of the, um, the positions. There were like people who worked with all the schools and connected them up with local sports organisations and they were got rid of. And so that, there's nobody who does this thing now. So it's really hard to kind of make that connection with the schools. And so he's been reduced to like giving out leaflets in front of the schools. Um, to the parents and the schools don't always like it and the school secretaries would come and argue with them about it And so you know, it's, it's hardly ideal So I said to him well, you should really try digital marketing because that's you know, that's what we do And he said no, 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 I'm fine. You know, I've got a website got a Google Plus page got a Facebook page It doesn't drive much traffic, but it's you know, it's 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 fine um, Like one in a hundred people who've come to the Google Plus page will then make an inquiry It's like it's not it's not really worth it I'm like, really, you should you should try Facebook ads. He said, no, 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 I'm fine, thanks, I'm fine, don't worry. I was like, okay, fine, don't push it, you know. And um, the thing with Chris is he's stubborn as a mule, you know, so if something isn't his idea, then he's, he doesn't really want to know about it. So I thought, just, you know, just leave it. But every time that he would complain to me about these arguments he's having with the school secretaries um, about handing out leaflets, I'd be like, you've got, to, you've got to at least look into this, you've got to try it. So eventually he gives it a go. Um, and uh, one of the things with Chris is he, he really likes to do things well, you know? So he's one of these guys, he's, he's quite annoying in some ways. He's like um, six foot three, he's good looking. He's um, probably the guy in the best shape in the gym. He can dunk a basketball. He has got like a part of uh, um, three handicap or something like this in golf. He's like, you know, one of these people, if he wasn't so likable, you, you'd hate him. And so but he really works at this stuff and he, he decided if he was going to put an ad, he wanted it to be really good. And so he, he looked into it and he um, talked to me about it and he, he studied about what to do with it and he put something together. And straight away, first ad, he spent £23 on it and he got um, six people signed up. Or six people uh, coming along for a free session. Now, so out of six people, he'll on average normally get three people signing up and that's what he got in this situation. Three people sign up, they pay £30 a month in direct debit. That is £360 a year per person. They stick around on average for two years. That's £720 on average per person. Three people signed up, so that's £2,160 that he's made. He spent £23 and he's making £2,160. It's like a £100 return for every pound he spent. So I was like going through these numbers with him. He's like, this is pretty cool. You know, and he hasn't had to stand outside of school handing out leaflets to do it in the rain. So he gives it another go. And the second one doesn't work. Doesn't get any results from that. But he's like, you know, he's, he's seen the potential here. And so he does another one, and another one, and another one. 
and uh, it's starting to build up now. You know, after kind of a few months of doing this, he's starting to, to get so booked up, he's getting the hang of it, and he's getting so booked up with new people coming in that he's not got any, any enough capacity to deal with all these new people. So he's got like five people turning up in a night um, for, for the free session to try, try his um, academy. And he can only really handle three. So I give him a hand and we kind of pl figure out a plan and add schedule so that he'll always be booked up but never overbooked. So that's good, so that continues going. And now he's up to like 80 people, 90 people, 100, 110, 120. Like it's getting to the point now where he's making like 40 grand, 45 grand, it gets up to 130, it's like making about 50 grand from all these people coming to his academy. It's just ridiculous. Like he, he can quit his job as a gym instructor, he can quit doing personal training, he could do this full time. But now he's got a new problem. He's completely booked. He's got no more space left. He's got this giant hall and he does two nights a week, three sessions a night, and he's completely full. And he's like, but this is, this is something cool. I can, I can make a really good living with this, you know? So he starts looking into to buying a house. And then uh, he's like in his twenties, you know, and he's, he's really chuffed with this. And um, so then he decides to open up a new academy. So he searches around trying to find a good venue, what's somewhere where there's the right kind of audience, the right kind of people in the area, there's enough big enough town, not too much competition, good venue, um, available at the right time, all of these kind of things, right? So he's searching around, finds another venue, starts planning out, runs a few more campaigns, kind of building up. Last week he opened, he has, 20, he has space for 25 people in the room, right? 25 people, there's maximum people in the room. First night, 24 people. Like nearly full first night. 12 of them sign up on direct debit. So that means he's already got half capacity on the actual direct debit. He then um, starts to run more campaigns, you know, get more people coming along to it for, for the next week, because not all of the other 13, some of, them will, some of them will sign up later as well, but not all of them. So he wants to get filled up with that, but it's like, well, well now, now I need to start looking at like a third academy, or opening on another night, or something else, you know? It's like, this is so exciting. So I saw him in the gym the other day, and uh, he's just bought a house, so he's moving, um, in the middle of moving over there. And he's showing me all the photos of his house, it's, you know, really, really nice. He's doing, looking at how he's doing it up. And um, he starts telling me about, huh, I'm now thinking about, like, what would it take for me to be able to buy a Bentley? I'm like, what do you need a Bentley for, you know? But anyway, he's just like, I can do this. This is cool. I can make this stuff happen. And uh, it's just beautiful seeing it, you know? Like what he's been through and the process and kind of where he's got to. And um, anyway, I just thought, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you wanna learn more about this, we've got like a, a free online workshop. You can learn like what are the steps involved? How does this all work? Some more case studies about other people. Uh, you can sign up, you go to makesportfun.com slash activity webinar. That's makesportfun dot com slash activity webinar it's free it's like a one hour workshop and you're going to learn how this all works and what the steps are um so yeah go check it out i'll put the link underneath the um underneath so you'll be able to go and you know click on that and 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 go find out about it so thanks for listening and i'll talk to you soon